more time around the bend before we wrap up this chapter on supply, demand, and government policy. Still talking about tax incidents, taxes, and elasticity. This time we're talking about from a supply perspective. Um, I have drawn five different versions of a supply curve here. Every demand curve you see is relatively unit elastic. Um, so when we have a perfectly inelastic supply curve, it's just vertical. When we have a perfectly elastic supply curve with an elasticity score of, um, of infinity. It's perfectly horizontal. We have unit elastic, which is, you know, well, split right down the middle, you know, 45 degrees here um, on either side. Then we have an inelastic supply, not a lot of movement in quantity here, less than one. We have an elasticity greater than one on a supply that's fairly elastic. Let's get after it. Um, perfectly inelastic equals zero. Supply is not moving. This price is, they'll supply that no matter what, whatever price. If there's a tax, they're going to pay all of it. On the opposite side, there is a supply that's perfectly elastic. Um, sellers are like, you know what, you change the price a little bit, I'm not going to make any of it for you. Uh, so that means buyers are going to have to pay all the tax. If we have unit elastic on both sides, they're going to pay an even amount. Um, if you have an inelastic less than one, you have a very vertical supply curve and a pretty unit elastic demand. Um, these suppliers are pretty much, no matter what the price, they're going to supply something. That tells me that they don't have a lot of products. So no matter what, they're going to do their thing. Well, if they get taxed more, they're going to pay more of the tax incidents because see this part of the, there's a big like square here. This part of it's bigger than that part of it. That means that the seller is paying more. Um, and lastly, we look here at the supply of elastic, meaning you change my price a little bit, I'll change my quantity a lot as a supplier. Um, that means I can take or leave that, that product. So if you start charging me as a producer, I'm going to put more of that tax on you. So no matter how you design these policies, uh, the economics of it is going to determine who pays what. And now I want to challenge you to start using, hey, let's, what's the combination of an inelastic demand curve and an elastic supply curve? So the last two videos, you'll be able to do this. Who's going to pay more of that tax? And you can go through any number of scenarios. And keep in mind, I have a PhD in this stuff, and I still have to write it down. So if you're trying to do my exams, and homeworks without writing things down with notes, it's not going to go well for you. It's an interesting strategy, Cotton. Let's see how it goes for you.